Hey new landlords and landlords that are looking for a quick refresher. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on the common mistakes you might be making regarding buildings insurance and how to avoid them. You could even save some money in the long term. Let's get straight into it. Why do landlords need insurance? Insurance is an essential aspect of our lives, from driving cars to protecting possessions. It offers added peace of mind, even though you hope you'll never need to use it. It's there to offer financial protection should the unexpected happen. This is all especially true for landlords who have an asset that could be easily worth six figures, yet they spend very little time actually in the property. You're trusting the tenant to look after it and a good tenant referencing strategy can help mitigate issues. But there may be occasions where something goes wrong and it's not the tenant's fault. Then what are your options? Well, landlords with a full suite of insurance will be able to rest easy knowing they're covered. So how do you choose the right cover, particularly with buildings insurance, and make sure your buy to let is protected? But first, what is buildings insurance? We've covered the ins and outs of buildings insurance in another video and if you want to take a deeper dive click the link below in the description box for more. But in a nutshell, buildings insurance is a policy that provides cover for the physical structure of your building, including coverage for problems due to flood, fire, subsidence and other types of damage. Mortgage providers tend not to give you a buy to let mortgage if you don't have buildings insurance in place before completing. Landlords should also really have buildings insurance to protect their investment property in case of unexpected events that could cause significant damage. And of course, while that's the insurance you have to have to secure your buy to let mortgage, you should also really consider rent guarantee insurance and home emergency insurance to really make sure you're thoroughly protected. Now, with all that in mind, here are seven common mistakes to avoid regarding your building's insurance. Mistake number one is not having enough coverage. Landlords often make the mistake of thinking their homeowner's insurance or contents insurance policy will cover their rental property, and that's not quite the case. Homeowner insurance policies are not designed to cover rental properties, and contents insurance covers things like sofas, tables, beds, and the general contents of the property. It's actually more useful for tenants and residential homeowners than landlords. What landlords really need is a specific landlord insurance policy that will provide the coverage needed. When purchasing a landlord insurance policy, you'll need to make sure that you have enough coverage to protect your investment property. But the big error that you could make here is not having enough coverage, and that's easily done if you don't provide your broker with the right information about the property. Without accurate details, they could end up finding a policy that doesn't meet the requirements of your buy to let. Or worse, if you deliberately provide the wrong information with the aim of keeping premiums low, your coverage will be null and void if the insurer finds out. So you might save on those premiums in the short term, but it will hit you where it hurts should you ever require a payout. That's why it's vital to provide the most accurate information available. Mistake number two is not shopping around. We live in a day and age where everyone compares everything before making a buying decision. That same mindset should apply to getting your building's insurance coverage for your rental property. Shopping around for your policy gives you a better chance of getting a good deal. You can compare offers side by side and review all of the details before making a decision. Plus, different insurance providers offer different policies and comparing and contrasting helps you make a better decision. Alternatively, you might want to use a broker like Mashroom to do the heavy lifting for you. They take all of your information and use it to find the most suitable buildings insurance. That means you don't have to spend ages searching through comparison websites and or browsing on an insurer's website directly. Mushroom is a great choice for landlords buildings insurance. We use the same underwriters as all the big name insurers, but you're not paying for those big names. So we can often find you a similar policy for a lower premium. Mistake number three is not understanding the policy. Failing to fully understand the policy is another common mistake people make when getting buildings insurance. This oversight can lead to a range of issues, including insufficient coverage, financial losses, and unexpected surprises during the claims process. There are several key factors that contribute to this widespread misunderstanding. First, policy documents are often laden with technical jargon and legal terminology, making them difficult for most people to understand. Insurers may use complex language to describe coverage, exclusions, and conditions, which can leave policyholders feeling confused and overwhelmed. As a result, many people simply skim through the document or rely on the insurer's summary without diving into the finer details. Second, policyholders may have a false sense of security, believing that all buildings insurance policies are more or less the same, 
where in reality there can be significant variations between insurers and policies, including the extent of coverage, specific exclusions and claim limits. This misconception may lead landlords to underestimate the importance of thoroughly understanding their policy and its unique features. Another contributing factor is the lack of awareness regarding policy exclusions. Exclusions are specific circumstances or events that an insurer won't cover. For instance, some policies may exclude damage caused by subsidence, flooding or wear and tear. And failing to understand these exclusions can lead to an unpleasant surprise when trying to make a claim, as policyholders might discover that they aren't covered for particular incidents. Lastly, policyholders sometimes fail to understand the implications of their policy's excess. Excess is the amount the policyholder needs to pay towards a claim before the insurer covers the remaining cost. Choosing a higher excess can result in lower premiums, but it may also lead to financial strain if you do end up needing to make a claim. So before agreeing to a higher excess, do do the maths and make sure that you can afford it should the worst happen. Mistake number four is not updating your policy. Many policyholders underestimate the importance of keeping their policy up to date, viewing it as a one-time purchase rather than an ongoing commitment. They may not realise that insurance policies should be reviewed and adjusted regularly to account for changes in the property, its value and even the local environment. Regularly reviewing and updating the policy ensures that it remains relevant and provides the appropriate protection. It's not uncommon for policyholders to be unaware of the events or circumstances that warrant a policy update. Significant changes to the property, such as extensions, renovations or improvements, can impact the rebuild cost and the coverage requirements. Similarly, the installation of new security systems, changes in the local environment or the property's use can also affect the risk profile and necessitate a policy adjustment. Yet, policyholders often let the policy roll over and remain on the initial terms. If the sum insured is suddenly too low, you you may find yourself having to cover the remaining cost of repairs or rebuilding after a claim. In some cases, insurers may apply an average clause which reduces the payout proportionally to the level of underinsurance, leaving you with an even greater financial burden. And even if your policy does still cover the property, are you getting the best possible price? There may be cheaper alternatives out there and shopping around with Mashroom can get you a better deal on buildings insurance coverage. Mistake number five is not considering deductibles. A deductible Deductible, also known as excess, is the amount you pay out of pocket before insurance coverage begins. It's a common feature in insurance policies that helps control costs for both the insurer and the insured. When it comes to deductibles, you may not fully understand the concept and the impact on both premiums and claims. A higher deductible typically results in lower premiums as the policyholder assumes more financial responsibility in the event of a claim. However, this can also mean a higher out of pocket expense when making a claim. That's why it's crucial for policyholders to strike a balance between affordable premiums and manageable deductibles. It's also important to compare different deductible options when selecting your policy. Many people don't do this, but different insurers may offer varying deductible structures which can significantly impact the overall cost of coverage. By not thoroughly considering your deductible options, you could end up with a policy that doesn't align with your financial needs and risk tolerance. You should also regularly review deductibles. As financial situations and property values change, it may be necessary to adjust deductibles to maintain adequate coverage and manageable out-of-pocket costs. Mistake number six is not bundling policies. Insurers often offer discounts to customers who purchase multiple policies as it allows them to manage their risks more efficiently. By not bundling policies, you could miss out on these discounts, leading to higher overall insurance costs. It's not uncommon to assume that shopping around for individual policies will result in better deals. While it is essential to compare different insurance providers and policies, bundling can still be more cost effective in many cases. Therefore, you should consider both bundled and individual policy options when evaluating insurance coverage. Not bundling policies can also lead to increased administrative tasks. Managing multiple policies with different insurers can be time consuming and confusing, especially when it comes to renewals and claims. Bundling policies simplifies the process as policyholders only need to deal with a single insurer, making it easier to keep track of policy details and communicate with the provider. Lastly, not bundling policies may result in gaps in coverage. When purchasing separate policies, policyholders may overlook certain aspects of their insurance needs, leaving them vulnerable to uncovered risks. Bundling policies ensures a more comprehensive and streamlined approach to coverage, reducing the likelihood of gaps in protection. Like most things, to bundle or not to bundle varies from landlord to landlord. 
landlord, depending on your particular set of circumstances. Working with a broker like Mashroom means we'll do the work for you to figure out if bundling is right or wrong for your particular portfolio. Mistake number seven is not considering the reputation of the insurance provider. There's nothing more frustrating than filing a claim only for it to be rejected, especially if you think the reason for a rejected claim is incorrect. Therefore, you want to use a service that has a strong claims handling system and excellent customer service. In some cases, prioritizing cost over reputation can leave you with a sour taste in your mouth. While it is important to seek affordable coverage, you shouldn't compromise on the quality of service and reliability. Be sure to research the insurance claims handling history as well. Assessing how efficiently and fairly a provider handles claims is crucial as it directly impacts your experience in the event of a loss. A provider with a poor claims handling reputation may result in delays or disputes causing financial strain and frustration. At Mushroom, we're here to support you when you make a claim. It makes the whole process easier for you as there's a lot less stress involved. Plus, we're much more likely to get you a payout and we've even overturned rejections in some cases. So there you have it, the seven common insurance mistakes that you should be avoiding when getting buildings insurance. If you're looking for a buildings insurance policy, click the link below to learn more about Mushroom's coverage options and book a call with one of our team. Thanks for watching and if you've got any more questions, drop them in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more information about landlording.